Welcome to Altium Designer 17 Advanced PCB Course. This additional module will cover subversion-based projects, both setup and use. Having projects under subversion control is helpful when tracking of changes or needing to recover earlier versions of a project. Some companies require project backups, and Altium provides a built-in subversion solution. Assuming we do not have a repository set up, open up the DXP preferences, and then open the Design Repositories window under the Data Management folder. Let's create a new repository using Altium's built-in subversion. Click on Create New and select SVN. This opens up a Create SVN Design Repository window for the setup of the repository. Naming the repository My Company Design Repository, navigate to where you want to create the default checkout directory. We will use a created folder called Working Copy under the Documents directory. Next, we will navigate to where we want to locate the repository. Creating a folder called Company Repository on the desktop. Now we click OK, and we see the repository listed with a green status check indicating we have created and are connected to the new repository. Now with the repository set up, let's add a project to it. We'll add schematic and a PCB to this project. And now to add this project to a repository, right-click on the project file and select Version Control, and then Add Project Folder to Version Control. The Add to Version Control window opens up, and we can select the repository folder, and we'll add a new folder for our project by clicking on New Folder. Notice the default folder name is from the project. Click OK. Then review the expected files to be added, and again click OK. Now we see the blue plus signs next to all of the project files, indicating that they need to be committed to the repository. Right-click on the project, Version Control, and select Commit Whole Project. This opens up the Commit window where we could add comments for this commit of the project. Click OK to add the project and its files to the repository. The files now have green checks, indicating both that they are in the repository and that they match the current head revision. Adding a component to the schematic and saving the schematic causes the green check to change to a red exclamation point, indicating a difference between this file and the corresponding head version of the file in the repository. Assuming we want to update the repository with the new version of the schematics, right-click on the schematics file and pick version control. This time, just select Commit instead of Commit Whole Project to update the repository with this file. This opens up the comment window for the commit where we add a comment and then click OK. Once again, we see the green check mark showing. Next, let's close out of this project and walk through the process of checking out a working copy of the project. To check out a project from the repository, start by clicking on File, then select Checkout. This opens up the repository checkout window where we can navigate to and select the project to check it out. Note the default checkout directory that was set up when we created the repository. We could change this to another location by clicking on the file and navigating to where we want to work on the project. Click OK. Now we see the project loaded into Altium from the repository and are working on this local copy, updating it as needed, and then doing multiple check-ins so that we have some history. As the project matures and the files are updated, Altium provides a means for accessing and reviewing the changes made using the Storage Manager. Opening up the Storage Manager panel, we see the history with comments of the current selected project files commits, in this case the schematics. Clicking on the PCB file in the Storage Manager window, we can review its timeline in the lower section. Clicking on the schematic entry, we see the history of the file commits and any comments if applicable. To view an earlier version, simply left-click on it to select it and then use the right mouse button to select Open. One useful feature is the compare of versions using the Storage Manager. Let's click on the schematic and then selecting both version 4 and 6, right-click and pick Compare. This will generate a list of the differences and open up the compared versions along with the Differences window. The Differences window lists all of the differences between the two compared versions. Clicking on one of the entries in the Differences window, we see the corresponding object highlighted. Thus, the designer can review the progression of the design visually, allowing for straightforward checking. This completes our introduction to Subversion for Projects in Altium using the built-in SVN. Please do the Add Project to Version Control and Checkout Project exercise.